Now, Father, if you don't believe in Christ when you die, you are going to hell? No, not at all. Um, it's the Catholic belief that Jesus is the source of salvation. Jesus is God. We believe that. But what, what... Peace of Christ to all. Uh, please listen carefully. He just said, he just said that that the you know as a Catholic priest he claimed to be Catholic priest, but for sure he is wearing the Catholic clothes or etc. And he might be a priest in a in a church somewhere, but false people they are false. Doesn't matter what the clothes they wear. He just said that Catholic believe that the source of salvation is Jesus Christ. And what do you mean the source of salvation? When you say the source of salvation, it means there is no salvation except by Jesus. Correct? Look how he contradicts himself after a few seconds. If you don't believe in Christ when you die, you are going to hell? No, not at all. Um... Look at this liar. How you just said that Christ is a source of salvation and you are saying if you don't believe in Jesus, you will not go to hell. Not at all. Since when? Which book in the books of Christianity teach that if you don't believe in Jesus, you go to heaven? What a stupid liar. And actually, this is why he is in the TV, in the CNN. Those CNN, they hate Christians, big deal. Anything against Christianity, they put it in TV. If this guy, he presents Christianity, he would never be there. All of us, we know that Jesus said, we, have, we can show tons of verses. I am the way. I am the way. I am the life. I am the door. Which means there is no door but by me. Let us continue listening to this liar, this deceiver. The Lord, he said, be aware of those false ones. False prophets, false teachers, false priests. They, they will come to you in the clothes of a sheep. Listen to this evil liar. It's the Catholic belief that Jesus is the source of salvation. Jesus is God. We believe that. But what, what do we say to the millions and billions of people? He is worried about what he will say. But a second ago, he said, the Catholic believe that only salvation and only in Christ. So why you are wearing the clothes of Catholic if you don't believe in the Catholic belief? You see the deception? This person, he is in there because supposedly he is a priest as a Catholic, but at the same time, he is not following his belief or his uh, uh, the book he, he considered to, to be his book, supposedly. He is just worried about what he will say. What he will say to the millions? Well, the millions will go to hell, you idiot, like you. What we will say to the millions? But what, what do we say to the millions and billions of people who don't even know about Jesus? Are they just thrown into hell? Yes, they will go into hell. Why they don't know about Jesus? Name for me one person in this earth who does not know about Jesus, you stupid idiot. How there is somebody in this earth who never heard of Jesus? You see the stupidity? I understand his point if he is saying that there is somebody like he lived in the jungle, he never heard uh, of Jesus, and God, he will give him a chance, you know, right, for salvation. Uh, but who who in this earth never heard of Jesus? The calendar worked by the birth of Jesus. The clock is working by the, uh, the birth of Jesus. The computer is working. Your, your camera machine, the one they are recording you right now with it, is working by the birth of Jesus. So who in the world do not know about Jesus, you liar? Or what about a rabbi who really follows the Lord as best he can? So what if he follow the Lord? If he follow the Lord, he don't reject the Messiah. Because you don't follow the Lord by rejecting him. You see the stupidity? They are in the wrong. Follow the Lord, but you reject the Messiah. How you can be following the Lord when you are rejecting the Messiah? Like, do this guy is aware what he what, what he is talking about? As a Catholic, I'm very comfortable that this that he attains salvation by doing this. Christ, so he, Christ. Christ. He, he as a Catholic, and he's lying again. That uh, he can uh, uh, earn salvation by doing best. Where in the Bible it says that? Where in the Bible it says you earn salvation by doing best? You are you are fabricating things. You are a false teacher, and you are no Catholic. You know, you know, you are a shame. Actually, uh, 
uh, how the Catholic accept those people to be in their churches. Honestly, if I am in his church, I will grab him from his pants, I will throw him out, and let, let him work. Maybe, maybe in the, uh, uh, you go and work uh, with care. The Muslim organization, they would love to have you. And look what he will say about Islam in a second. Just listen. Without believing in Christ. Correct. Without any explicit in, in the Christian yes. fraternity and the Protestant would, do not yes. believe that. Right. As a, as a Catholic, I can believe that Christ, that Christ is God and he loves people. And it's not the, it's not the goal of Christ to try to throw people into hell. And as, look at this again. He just said he believed that Jesus is God. But the one who don't believe in Jesus, he will go to heaven. Isn't it the whole idea about going to heaven, to hell, is accepting the Lord or rejecting Him? The Bible says there is no righteous in this earth. The righteous of a human being is the same as filth for God. The Bible speaks clearly that no good but God, which means all of us are sinners. So what righteousness you are talking about? Since when my righteousness is going to make me deserve to go to heaven? For what? I have, you know, when somebody speak about righteousness, you know, you think they are angels. They have they have wings in their back. We sin every day. Even if you feed the poor, if you compare how many sin you do in your life and how many good, you, what, how much good you did, you will see how 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 bad the scale is. So this liar again, he you know he just said, G Christ is God." But he's saying the rabbi who reject Christ, he will go to heaven. Why? Because he was a good person. Since when the one who don't accept God, he go to heaven. In which religion? Like name for me a religion, believe in that anyway. And look now what he will say after. Just before we go there actually, let us read some verses from the Bible. Uh... We will take as uh, we will take an example. Uh, we go to John, the book of John, chapter eleven. What Jesus he said. He was talking to a woman. He said to her, "I am the resurrection and the life." He that believeth in me, through he were dead, ye shall he live. Which means the one who believe in me, he will live. Even if he die, he will live. So what is what is the promise? The promise that the one who believe in Christ, he is going to live again. The eternal life is a promise for those who believe in Christ. This is what the Bible teach. And just to make it simple, if everybody who is doing good, he will believe, believe or not, he will be, uh, uh, who will live eternity, and he will go to heaven. So what's the point of this verse? Nothing. If this is the case, it means Christ is making false promise, because the promise doesn't make any sense. Everybody is going to go to heaven anyway, just do good. But what Jesus said, proving that this priest is a big fat liar, as many of them, he is saying, that the one who believe in me, even if he die, which means death, death will not affect you going to uh, having salvation. Death is just a stage, and then you will live again. And what is the reason? The reason is very simple. Because he believe on me, in me. Proving that you are a false priest, the one who was in this TV station. And Jesus continued, And whoever, whosoever lived and believed in me shall never die. What does that mean? It's, uh, is he talking about me if I believe I will never die like today, tomorrow? No. He's talking about that you will have eternal life for you believe in me. He did not say the one who did righteousness, by the way. Why? Because the teaching of Christ, all of it is about teach, teach, doing righteousness anyway. But the condition is, number one condition, to have salvation is to believe in Christ. So, you believe in Christ, you will earn salvation, and because you believe in Christ, you are going to do what? The good deeds. 
what Jesus said about about uh, about his people, he said from their fruits, actually the bad one and the good one, from their fruits you shall know them. But still, salvation, if you do not believe in Christ, it doesn't matter how, how, how much fruit you have, because your fruit is still is nothing compared to your sin. You know, let us talk about justice in here. Like, let us say, uh, let us say, uh, you know, God, he have a scale in front of him, and he put your uh, fruits, your good deeds, and he put your sin. Which one you think is going to win? We sin every day. We, we sin in our, our thought. We sin with our eyes. We sin with our tongue. We sin with our words. We sin. We are a process of sinning. You know, like we, we, we never stop sinning. So feeding somebody is a poor once a day, twice a day. What about the rest of my day where all of it maybe it's sin? So Christ bring in the condition very clear that salvation is only by him. Additional to that, uh, if everyone will do good, is going to go to heaven, which nowhere in Christianity, by the way, it says that, proving that this guy is a liar. He's, he's talk, talking about his own opinion. He, he's creating a new version of Christianity, which he cannot do. But let us assume for the sake of argument that anyone who do good deeds he will go to heaven so what's the point of Christ coming to earth nothing what the point even of a prophets nothing simply there's nothing there's no need prophets they came to, 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 to tell about God not only to tell about doing good You 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 know you do good you don't do good, uh, uh, this is for sure will reflect your belief, because me as a Christian when I believe in Christ because Jesus he said not everyone say to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my Father but the one who do his will, so believing in Him as Lord Lord is not enough. You have to follow, with doing His will. Now you do it the 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 best you can. You know, like the Lord, He says to us, "Be perfect." Like you know, uh, uh, work in it. Try to be perfect, even if you cannot. But it's a project to work in. It's like when you you go to exam. Uh, you know, the, the the smart student is the one who worked to get one hundred, but he get uh, eighty five, maybe ninety. But the lazy one, he will work for only to get fifty. So he go to the exam. He got he got thirty. So Christ, His standard is high. He's asking us for the best. Because he know we, are, we that we are not perfect, but do the best you can. But number one condition is to believe in him, and no salvation except by him. We continue in John uh, chapter eleven. We see Jesus in verse number forty saying to the women, and the one is talking here is Christ himself. Uh, Christ Jesus he said to her unto her, I not uh, uh, said I not unto you unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. Let us make it in simple English. This is old, old translation. Didn't I say to you that if you believe in me, you will see the glory of God? So what is the condition to see the glory of God? If you believe in me. Then how this liar he is saying to us, you see the glory of God by doing righteousness only. Uh, you can be an atheist according to him. Uh, you can be anything which is absolutely false. Didn't I say to you that if you believe in me, you will see the glory of God? So those people, you know, they don't present Christ's teaching. They are false. They are uh, uh, deception, you know, people of deception. And this is why you will see him even praising Islam. How you are a person who claim to, be, to, to believe in God, to believe in Christ as God, and then you say Muhammad is a wise man. Either Muhammad is a liar or Muhammad is not. Listen carefully for what he will say after that.
And by the way, we can show you tons of verses in the, from the Bible saying that there is no salvation but by Christ. But I think the, the idea is, is uh, uh, proved well, right? Let us continue. As a Catholic, how do you view Muhammad? I'm, as a very wise man, uh, I see the beauty of Islam in a very strong way. Uh, Guys, he view Muhammad as a wise man. Uh, how somebody believed that Christ is God, he accept Muhammad as a wise man when Muhammad says Jesus is not God. This means he's a liar. How he can be wise? What wise? What? What? Where is the wisdom? You see the fabrication. No wonder you praise Islam and you like it. So, by the way, if Muhammad is a very wise man, why you don't believe in him? When you don't believe in somebody, you don't follow him. It's mean you consider him a false prophet. Very simple. When you say, I accept Christ as God and Muhammad as a wise man, you are being politically correct. You don't want to say that Muhammad is a false prophet because either he was prophesying, saying the truth about Jesus, or he was lying, saying the false things about Jesus. He cannot be a wise man. He have to be either a liar or a good teller from God. And look what he continues saying. Um, a simple approach to God, a simple approach to prayer and devotion. Where is the simple approach to God in Islam? Islam is the most complicated, stupid religion. A Muslim, he have to pray on time. I can pray to God even in my bed, in my closet, in my car. You cannot find simple and simpler from approaching God from Christianity. You can say your own words. You don't have to repeat somebody's own uh, 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 I do not need to read from the Bible to pray to God. I can make my own prayer to the Lord. Where is the simple approach? A Muslim, he do not speak Arabic. He have to pray to his God in Arabic. You tell me how simple that is. Imagine you say to me, I have to pray to God in Hebrew when I don't know any word in Hebrew. Is that simple or very complicated? Imagine I cannot pray to God unless I go and do a, 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 a ablution, which is very funny because the ablution of the Muslims have nothing to do with being clean. Muslims put some water under their arms, but they smell disgusting. Muhammad used to have lice in his panties. So where is the simple approach of Islam and prayer and God? Listen to what he will say more. I'm very touched by five times a day praying. He was very touched by five times way praying. Why did you pray them? How he can be touched by something if you don't practice? Number two, don't you pray as a Catholic priest as if you claim to be Catholic more than five times a day? What a fabricator you are. He is touched by a prayer he never practiced. Uh, unless you are a Muslim. <laughs> I'm very touched by the, the Ramadan, by the, the fasting. The what the fasting? Ramadan is not a month of fasting. It's a joke. People, they eat all night until the morning. They sleep during the day. They wake up afternoon and they eat again. Simply what they do, they switch night and day upside down. This is not fasting. The real fasting is a Christianity fasting. Not many people, they fast. This is their choice because, it, it, you know, in Christianity, it's about doing things because you believe in. Doing things because you want to. Not because somebody will force you to do things. Christ, he fast for 40 days with no food. The Christians, when they do fast, they're fasting as an example. If you go to the, to, you know, to like, uh, 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 to Orthodox churches, you will see that they fast uh, uh, you know they have two fasting in the year, which more than uh, uh, more than ninety days, and their fasting is extremely hard. Real fasting, not like the fasting of Muslims. They cannot eat meat. They cannot eat anything have 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 fat in it for more than ninety days. This is a real tough fasting, and there are certain hours you don't eat in them at all. Longer than what the Muslims do. So what the Muslims do simply have nothing to do with fasting. Actually, Muslims in Ramadan, they get fat. Prices of food go crazy. And here we go, Ramadan is coming soon. Go and ask, search right now in the internet what will happen in the month of Ramadan. The price of food will go five, six times more. Do you know why? I will tell you why. Because nobody is fasting. 
this is the month of eating not fasting because everybody buying food more food the price go high if nobody buying too much food the price will go less there's a high demand over the food in Islam therefore the prices go crazy so the fabrication of those people is amazing and you know what let me ask you something you claim to be a Catholic priest don't you follow the Pope aren't you obedience to the Pope it's very clear you are not because your Pope you filthy liar he was an honest man and he said Muhammad brought nothing but evil to this earth so how you say you belong to the Catholic Church and you are obedience to your Pope he is your leader in the same time you speak against what he speak and guys I search in the internet for this guy to see what church, church he teaching I, I cannot believe it I, I was right I was right about him he is one of those who do child molestation he is one of those who they are false liars uh, sexual perverted people look here we go this is in the news no wonder he is a praising Muhammad no wonder he is saying he was amazed about Muhammad he is touched by the prayers of Muslims are you touched by having sexual relationship with your cousin having an affair with your cousin now we know uh, why you like Muhammad and why you are speaking like this because you are a fornicator uh, 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 against the clothes you wear you know you are a liar you know because you know for me I am not a priest if I do sin if I do sin I will not be proud about it but at least I'm not wearing clothes to hide behind it when you wear those clothes you are trying to present yourself as a as a, as a, as a man of God but the fact he is the opposite and he's telling us about how touchy the, 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 the prayer of a Muslim how touchy is the, the fasting of Muslims uh, can you tell me how touchy it is to, to, to be a fornicator with your cousin and look at this uh, this uh, this filthy man what he says to people he says oh you, you know uh, we believe I believe that's always you can start again with Jesus so a second ago he said you, you know salvation is not through Jesus even if you don't believe in Jesus but now he's saying oh he will ask Jesus for forgiveness and he can start again you see how they lie amazing how disgusting those people enough is enough Christ is Lord fabricators liars they will go to hell and don't forget before you go to hell uh, Mr. Uh, Michael Manning I will send a letter with you to Muhammad please deliver it tell him Christian Prince is doing what he need to do hmm? and the time is coming where he will be watching you in the barbecue you too not only Muhammad Christ is Lord Islam is false. I mean to that.